Vamos abrir a palavra do Senhor. Let's open the word of the Lord in Jeremiah. We're going to read just one verse. Um, chapter 51. We're going to read only verse 50. Prophet Jeremiah 51. Verse 50. Jeremiah 51. Verse 50. Jeremiah 51, verse 50 says the following the word of the Lord. You who have escaped the sword, get away, do not stand still. Remember the Lord afar off and let Jerusalem come to your mind. May the Lord bless us with his word. My brethren, Prophet Jeremiah here speaks about a judgment. In fact, he uh, exposed two situations. Throughout, firstly, throughout the entire chapter, he speaks about a judgment that was placed upon the people, upon the ones who had not obeyed. To the ones upon the ones who had distanced themselves from the Lord. And throughout the entire history of man, we see that there's a judgment has been established upon the life of man. From the sin from Adam that man has been predestined to, to he numbers his days toward death. But it is interesting that throughout the history of man, we see this in the word that every time that there was there, there is a judgment there is also escape God never allows men only with the option pointing to death because the desire of the Lord was was to have men near to him and here in Jeremiah he says this and when we bring this to our time to our life we don't have to go far to see that there is a judgment upon the world. There is a judgment upon the ones who do not have the Lord, the ones who have not obeyed, the ones who have distanced themselves from the Lord. And the Word says that the ones who don't believe have already been condemned. But the other situation that Jeremiah uh, speaks about is escape. And there is a people. There is a remainder. And just a little bit of people that have escaped. And we can glorify the name of the Lord today. Today, the Church of Pompano, because we are part of a people that has been show, chosen. We receive and we accept the escape. The escape is offered to everyone. Jesus is the escape. And we can glorify the Lord because we accept it this escape. And while many have rejected and they continue rejecting, we accept it. And the word for us tonight is, it is for us. The words are already um, sunk in evil. The, the enemy is not interested on those who are in, in the world. Because they are already there, the attention of the enemies to my family and me, and the family of your brother, and to, and to our families. My brand, the word of the Lord says that we have escaped from the sword. Let's go. Whoever goes, goes following the path. The church today can only be victorious in Jesus. The church can only win if it stays on the path. The word says, go and never stop. As I mentioned before, the desire of the enemy is not in the one that is in the world. Because the one who is in the world have already discarded, or he will be discarded. The enemy uses that person, then when that person has no worth for him, then he discards that person. The, the enemy is interested in us, and the word for us tonight, my brother, is that go. Do not stop. Do not stop, because maybe the trial, the trial may come, comes may come to cause us to stop. And as we have seen the word, 
uh, that was preached last Sunday. The moment is to march, to walk towards Jerusalem, it's not to stop, because at any, any moment this judgment will be confirmed. And then the, the group of people that God has chosen and that accepted the project will be in eternity. And when the word says, go, do not stop, and from afar, remember the Lord. Sometimes the trial places us far away. Maybe the situation that we're going through causes, may cause us to go far away. But many times in the trial, when we feel lonely and far away, we remember the Lord. Because while many around us may forsake us, they, they not may forsake us, they will forsake us. We know because many of here, many who are here, if not everyone, have already faced this. But remember one thing, when we are far, do not forget the Lord, because our God is not only God for when the things are good. It's not a God when they say in Psalms, a God, for, a God of near. But when we are far away as well, because the trial of the, our daily lives, the work, financial side, uh, health, uh, home, doesn't matter what the trial might be, may cause us to go straight from the Lord. Many will be far away, but our God is near us. He is with us in the trial. He is with us in the victory. So go, do not stop. Do not stop because the moment is not for us to stop. The moment is to march forward. And the last situation that he mentions here is that go to uh, allow Jerusalem to go to your heart. In English says says that in English verse says that may Jerusalem go up to your mind. My brethren, if Jerusalem eternity is not in us, if our desire is not go, if our heart is not pulsating, come Lord Jesus, we are the most miserable. Our gospel, that, the gospel that we preach, that we live, is for this life then. If you are in the trial, in tribulation, say, come. When you're going through difficulty, your heart may be, it must be pulsating, come Lord Jesus. Jerusalem must be near us. The song says, the great day is because that's what we want, is what, that's what we desire, our struggle, what we go through, have been going through in today, not so that we may live uh, a gospel that is for this world, not because we want a better life here, this is just consequence, the word says, says this to us, but we are telling the Lord that we want, we desire more, the trial comes, the, the tribulation comes, the obstacle rise up, but our hearts and our minds, they are in the eternity. Jerusalem can never be far away from us. So, my brethren, the word of the Lord tonight for us, Church of Pompano, we who have escaped from the sword, we who have escaped from the snare of the enemy, let's continue walking forward. Let's go together. The Lord has shown tonight three people. The Lord has revealed three people that have felt like if they feel like an obligation to be present in the meetings through Zoom or watching the services online. And this has brought a, a difficulty in their lives. My brethren, in the work of the Holy Spirit, not, nothing is imposed, nothing is an obligation. In the same way that we are not forced to serve the Lord, Jesus was also not forced to die on the cross for us, but He gave us the escape. And today, we can say is to offer, his, for, offer to Him our hearts, to offer our soul to the Lord. So the word for us tonight is, do not stop. The trial come, do not stop. Jerusalem in, in our hearts, and this difficulty that sometimes rise up, oh, because Zoom, oh, because through the internet is difficult, my brethren, it is worth it. It is worth it. This many times may cause us to go astray, but we have to remember the Lord. And for everything, there is a project. Nothing that we have been going through 
is by pure chance. Everything that we'll be going through is like, I can say, it's something that is aleatory. No. No, God, if God has allowed us because God wants, to, wants us to learn to give worth to the things of the Lord in the smallest details. So, my brethren, let's go. Let's go together as a church. The church of Pompano is the church is the body of Christ. Let's go walking. The trial may come to one. The one who is by your side, stand up and help. The trial may come to me. The one is by my side may help. We'll be overcoming trial upon trial, tribulation upon tribulation, but we are going to have victory upon ex victories and experience upon experience, and Jer Jerusalem will be always in our hearts. May this word remain in our hearts. May God bless us. Let's go and do not stop. From afar, let's remember our God. And may Jerusalem may always stay in our heart. May God bless us. We're going to hear a song now.
Irmãos, a paz do Senhor. My brother, peace of the Lord. Final do culto. Come to the end of the service. Somente para para completar. It's just to complete o dom. the gift, the spiritual gift. It speaks. The, it says that this obligation that is three people are feeling in participating in the service is a consequence. It's the result of a, an unfaithfulness of these people with the Lord in the sense that they are not using the means of grace. It is something that happens when we fail on something in our lives. When we are having a gap. So the enemy enters to this gap and then he begins to bring confusion, incredulity, and everything that leads us to a spiritual coldness. So if you are, if the spiritual gift tonight spoke to your heart, if the Holy Spirit is testifying your heart, you need to, to quickly to resolve this area of our life. And that's the secret the Lord has shown, because the Lord wants the best for us. So if you have been missing prayer, fasting, the reading of the Word, the gift speaks about the lack of the means of grace in the life of those people. Not exactly everyone, but maybe also everyone. But you need to fix this in your life, and you will see that once you resolve this problem with the Lord, what the Holy Spirit has testified in your heart, you see how the things of the Lord are going to be a blessing in your life. And the Word says, the blessing of the Lord in rich does not bring pain. So what the Lord has for you is a blessing, eternal blessings, or a spiritual blessings, the blessing in this life. But on the other hand, we need to do our part. The impossible God does, but what is at our reach, we are servants of a living God. We need to put in order our, this part of our life. Amen. So let's just just would like to add this detail of the spiritual gift that is important. So let's pray, finish the service. As anyone pray, glorify. So we're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord for everything the Lord has done, the service, for the spiritual gift that was shown, for these three lives that have been able to be reached by the Lord, for what the Lord has done in our hearts tonight. But I want to glorify, exalt your name, Lord for your manifestation in our midst, Father, for using each one of your servants, Lord, to reveal to us what is your will, Lord, in the midst of your people. We know that your word is sufficient to restore, Lord, these lives there are here in this moment of spiritual coldness. And you have the power, Lord, to put them back standing and in full fellowship, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you have restored our faith, Lord. We are sure that you have given us your grace in double, Lord, so we may continue, Lord, this moment of crisis, Lord. But may in our hearts never have a, a sign of incredulity, Lord. We thank you we're thankful for your for your word, for the love that is put out to your church and to each one of your services. We pray and glorify you in the name of Jesus. Remember, just before we finish uh, praying, I'd like to take advantage of this moment. I don't know if you saw it circulating in those groups of WhatsApp testimonies of people, brethren in Christ, of other church that are watching our services and they are receiving a blessing from the part of the Lord. People giving testimony that they have never heard a word was so clear, a church that speaks about the return of the Lord Jesus, the church has a commitment to speak about the return of the Lord Jesus, everything that's being lost inside of religion. So, we who are part of the work of the Holy Spirit, the ones who 
have received a call to be here, let's give worth to this. Pray to the Lord. Ask the Lord, Lord, remove whatever it might be, this difficulty that I have of staying in the service or participating on the prophetic service you know, or participating of, on the meetings of group of assistants or participating on the early dawn. My brother, everything that the Lord shows to us is for your benefit. God is not demanding anything from you. God is not asking anything from you. What God is bringing to us is an alert tonight. So if you want to receive from the part of the Lord what you have been seeking, it's not in the sense of exchange. It's not exchange. Oh, now I'm going to participate this and God has to bless me. God has to open a uh, door of a new job. No, no, that's not it. We do this as a way of gratitude to the Lord. The Lord has given us these tools, these moments that many out there do not have. So glorify the Lord. And ask the Lord deliverance. Say, Lord, give me more faith. Give me means to want. This is important in our lives. So here is this word for the part of the Lord for our lives. Pray to the Lord. Ask the Lord a deliverance in this regard. Maybe it's a deliverance. Maybe you need to re re need to receive a, a prayer, a lay of hands, seek the pastor or deacons. We have pastors here. Seek the pastor. Ask. Uh, I need a deliverance. I need a, a prayer with lay of hands. So when you do this, open up your heart to the Lord. You see how God will open up your understand the way you are and you begin to do things for the Lord as a way of gratitude to the Lord. Amen? So let's pray, close our eyes and finish the service. My God, we want this moment. Agreeing with the prayers that have been made, especially the glorification of the children, the prayers that have been made for the service. We want to thank you, Lord, because to this day you have sustained us. We want to thank you. We want to praise you because we have not lacked the food, the living bread, the revealed word, the staff of your spirit, the direction of your spirit, Lord. We have not lacked, Lord. That's why we want to praise you, Lord. Because we are part of this work that is not being governed by the, the by man, but it's governed by the, your Holy Spirit. I want to praise you, Lord, for the means of grace that one day has been revealed to us. This fount, Lord, this means of grace, this weapon, Lord, this powerful weapon for our victory. I want to praise you, Lord, for the spiritual gifts. I want to praise you, Lord for your word that is always showing to us the best way and the only way for us to be able to achieve victory. Lord, may you receive our service, uh, this service and our glorification and our expression of gratitude to you. Take us home. Keep us in home in peace and a night of rest and tomorrow may be a day of victory in your presence. It's a prayer we say in the name of Jesus. In your name you say the wonderful grace of your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolation of the Holy Spirit, be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. My brethren, we're going to make ourselves available to you. If anybody wants, if the service spoke to your heart, we once again. We are making ourselves available to you to pray for you at any moment. Maybe now, a few minutes later, you have nothing else to do. We have to stay home, right? And it's even good. You're not going to be watching things that you're not supposed to on TV, movies, soap opera. We are, you're here and are disposed to pray for you and to all the peace of the Lord. So now let's open the microphones so that everybody may greet. And, and I'll see you on Thursday. We have someone that is having a birthday. He's, he needs a prayer. Gustavo, very well. I didn't see him. Gustavo, where are you? Hey, peace of the Lord. Congratulations, Gustavo.
Obrigado. Parabéns, Gustavo. Tia Dulce está com saudade. Deus abençoe. Parabéns, Deus abençoe você, Gustavo. Parabéns, Gustavo. Parabéns, Gustavo. Oi, Gustavo. Are you a youth, Gustavo? No? I'm still adolescent. Amen. Let's pray. Pastor José, let's pray for the adolescent Gustavo. Would you pray for him for us? He's in Brazil. He's have a birthday. He's an adolescent here from the church. He's have a birthday to today. Let's close our eyes. Pastor Joseph is going to pray for him. Amen. Pray to Jesus. Our Father, we, for the blood of Jesus, we pray once again. Present the life of your servants in your present presence. Really thankful, my Lord, for your blessings, for the victories that you surely has given to his life. The greatest blessing, which is the blessing of salvation. Receive our gratitude for this wonderful day, so special in his life, in which he has turned another year in your, in your presence, Lord. Give him blessings, strengthen him, give him new experience with the Lord. May he be a, a valiant soldier in your hands, an instrument for the glorification of your name, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor José. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations, Gustavo. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Steve. I. Pode ser o